Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at another one of my Roblox Bloxworth builds. It is a kind it was supposed to be a castle build and then we're, we're gonna bulldoze it because that's what I do with every build that I show you guys. It's to show that I get bored of building and I just decide to <coughs> get rid of my um, houses. Cause you know I haven't been satisfied. I haven't found the right connection with the house so we're going to be going through the dungeon to get to the main house one second please just excuse my long hallway so here's the garage and then that's the outside the outside isn't all that. It was decorated for Christmas, kind of. So yeah. Welcome to the inside of the house. You may have seen it from one of my other videos. Um, so let's start off. This is the great room. It's big, grand, and open. And then over here we have like a wet bar situation. The pan, the walk-in pantry. It's also like you can get to the wall from here. And you close that door, even though it's about to be bulldozed. The back door that leads to the backyard and the kitchen. I did put a lot of cooking spaces in this house because I figured, like, if it was a real old castle, it would have had that many like places to sit. This is like a um. This is like one of those, this is like a dining room area, because like we don't have a dining room, so we have like a dining room table. This is the, what is it, what is it, a breakfast nook, except for as his own separate room. Ugh. A bathroom, a seating area. This is another wet bar. We have some stairs to go up. We're gonna go up before we go down. On this floor, it's mainly bedrooms. Here's bedroom number one. I decorated it with industrial furniture because I wanted like the house to seem old, but I wanted the inside to seem like I tried to make it look nice. This is bedroom number two i mean this is another bathroom <laughs> i'm slow let me go ahead and use this bathroom so i can make sure i don't sink throughout this entire um ordeal here are bedrooms two and three this would be for like a kid or something i don't know Here's another bedroom. I don't know who this would be for. Maybe a teenager. It's smaller than that one, but it like has a bigger bed. It just depends on how you man manipulate the space. Then this would have been my bedroom if I actually kept this house. Keep in mind that these builds only take me like a few hours to do. Cause, like I don't put a lot of time into them. Like this is my bathroom. Most of these houses are like very done easily, but I am gonna miss this closet that I concocted. It was a nice closet. Then that's what I'm trying to get away from. My next build, I want it to be my house that I'm gonna keep permanently. So I'm gonna actually put more work into the house to make sure it looks nice. It's decorated nice. I don't care if I have to find a good like decorator or something someone who can decorate stuff here is a little seating area with a bookshelf here's my office oh my god i feel so formal i did reach level 50 as a stalker i have my plaque up here let's zoom in blocksburg fresh food excellence award presented to just brown for your excellent work in outstanding dedication as a stalker i did work a single shift to actually level up although i did level up twice in one shift 
on this floor, it's really not much. Like, here is a little meeting area, I guess. And then we have another kitchen. I know, this house was so tacky. And here's the movie room. It was supposed to be a movie room. Well, actually, it was supposed to be, like, how the, you know how, like, in castles, they had churches. Like, old castles had churches inside of them. So I wanted to, like, give, give it that church vibe. You see how I have the stained glass window, the vaulted ceiling. Yeah, it's supposed to be, like, a church. Anyways, let's get back to the tour. Well, that elevator is coming. I'm gonna show you guys a tower. But yeah, this is a tower. It would have been an art tower, but we all know I give up. At some point, it just depends on, do I run out of money, or do I lose interest, or if it just, I mean, look at the floor work. I tried to make it line up as much as I could, but you can only do so much. Look at this roof ceiling, look at the roof. I'm always, like, I am one of the, the worst Blocksburg builders I have ever known, seen, and I built on mobile too, so... That's also something that we have to factor in when talking about my building style and how I build. Here is this would have been a bathroom. I think I thought I was gonna make it a bathroom. Um, yeah, I did definitely run out of usable space because I didn't really use space accordingly so there was a missed opportunity to really use out all of the space because like I made the the towers and stuff really thick yeah I made the towers and stuff really thick on the first floor it is really just the pool and a few guest bedrooms. So let's show you guys the bedrooms first. Here is guest bedroom one. I decorated it for Christmas. As you can see, they have some presents. Someone slept in here and didn't make the bed. <laughs> so I did decorate a few rooms. I didn't do the most. I did a little bit. I usually add light switches. I don't know where the light switch went for this room. Oh, and over here, there was a little seating area. Yeah, you see that? A little fireplace right there. Here is a bathroom. I wanted this to be like a guest bathroom where like so they could wash their hands right here. And like people could still use the other functions that a normal bathroom would have. Like, the shower is its own room, and it has some towels. And then the toilet is its own room, too. That wooden toilet right there. Um, let's close that. I'm closing stuff like I'm going to keep the room. I mean, like I'm going to keep the house. Here is another bedroom. Oh, my God. Bedroom number three. Who slept? Uh, who slept in here and like didn't take care of themselves? I only put one light in this entire room. I need to be slapped. Anyways, but yeah, like this stairs leads from right there. If you didn't know. You were paying attention. This is like another wet bar area situation, but I don't know. I think I deleted the sink or whatnot and I forgot to add it back. Here's the pool. It's 
spacious, it's a little bit spacious, a little bit small, depending on who you ask. Um, I put walls in the pool, that way I could put lights inside the pool. Um, over here, I just, I took the liberty of making a sauna. I know, it's so nice. But yeah, the sauna. And the sauna connects to the wall. And it's like, yeah, it's one big, um, it's one big tunnel. That's a labyrinth over there. And then here is my little wine cellar. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, there really wasn't much to see. I'm just playing. There was a lot to see. I hope you guys really did enjoy yourselves. I don't know who's walking around my property right now, but like, I don't recall anyone asking if they could come over. So let me go check that out real quick. But that gate opened the entire time. Let me see if they're still on the phone. So no, they're gone. But anyway, if you guys want to watch me bulldoze the house and see how much money I get from it, of course you do, because that's what we always want to do. Let's bulldoze it. What am I doing? Um, bulldoze options. I want to keep the vehicles. I'm getting 530k back. That's fine by me. The, oh my god. And that's all for now. Those go to inventory. I can just keep this. Anyway, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. We got everything you wanted on your list. Um, and as always, I'm Jabron. Go follow me on TikTok. You guys can follow me on Roblox. You guys can subscribe to my channel. Um, in 2021, I will try to upload a little bit more. If you're seeing this on Christmas, I hope you guys just let me know. And if you're not, that's fine too. I just hope you're doing all right so have a great day peace